we were in a pickle. Just a pickle. And I, I, I thought my only resource then is to come here and see and pray and hope everything works out. And it did. I am Patty Hirsch. I became a member 2004, 2005. A lot of my friends started banking there and um, had car loans in it. And I thought, I'm gonna give them a try. And so that's when I became a member. Well, it all started back in 2017. Uh, my husband was diagnosed with AFib. He was working at a company and he let them know that it was going to be a while because he was going through therapy and all kinds of other issues. That was in October. In January of that, of the next year, he uh, was seeing a doctor electrician for his heart. When Norman went to pay, the uh, clerk looked at him and she said, you don't have any insurance, you've been declined. Turned out he had lost his job, but nobody, nobody bothered to tell him. So he lost all of his health insurance and life insurance, all these things, but they never bothered to tell him. Just the medical part of all of this was unbelievable. Here was the savings account just dwindling down to just practically nothing. I'm on limited income right now because I'm retired. I do sub, but still, it's just not enough. We were in a pickle, just a pickle. And I, I, I thought, my only resource then is to come here, ask for a loan, and pay my car off. My name is Kayla McMurray. Um, I've been here for a year on Valentine's Day, and I'm a member specialist. The hearses came in, they were pretty upset, they were in a bind financially. Um, they both got sick, and they got behind on their bills. So they came in to see what they can do to get caught up. Um, I'm still fairly new on the loan department, so I went to Jo Beth and asked her what the solutions that we can come up with. Jo Beth Teakin, branch manager, Hallettsville, Texas. Last month, a longtime member came in and asked if there's anything we could do to help her. She told us that she and her husband, Norman, both who are retired but work side jobs to supplement their retirement pay, both of them were diagnosed with RSV. Both were not able to work. He was actually hospitalized with pneumonia and it really put them in a huge financial bind. We took them in the offices. We said, let us see what we can do. We did see that she had an auto financed with us. It had been financed for a couple of years. They'd made excellent pay history on it. So we looked at the option of pulling equity out of her auto because number one, it would give them a good rate and number two, she's gonna continue having that auto. And number three, best of all, it actually lowered her payment. Oh my gosh, it was wonderful. Um, I just hugged them both and I was just just truly so very thankful that we, or they had found the solution to our problem. And I still am just on cloud nine. It's just been wonderful. So my advice to the new employees that get into um, situations that they're not familiar in is just to ask questions and not be scared. Always look at the full picture. Uh, make sure you're looking at every avenue and also reaching out to coworkers to say, what are your thoughts? What, what do you see that I'm not seeing? And a lot of times, you know, the coworker will say, you know, I see this, why don't we do this? So it's really great that we have such a great team that we can reach out to each other to figure out the best option and not say no. They are wonderful people. Um, they just don't give up.